shall be done. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Whatsoever you ask it, in my name I'll do it. Been in a shipwreck. Is that all right tonight? Sometimes we feel like we're just in a mess. Amen. That we're barely hanging on. Glory to God. But I'm here to tell you tonight. If you will just keep holding on tonight. That God will keep you when you feel like you can't keep yourself. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Sometimes we can get ourselves all in a big mess. Brother Ronnie was talking earlier about being in a mess. Amen. And there's times in our life where we feel like that. But how many knows that if we turn it over to Jesus, I said if we turn it over to Jesus, he'll work it out, Sister Vanessa. I've never found where God has let me down. If this mic's too loud, let us know and we'll pull it down some. Pull it down just a little. I've been in storms in my life. I've been in places in my life where I felt like I'd been in a shipwreck. Where I felt like I was all alone. Where I felt like I was drowning. Can I get an amen? Has anyone been there besides me? And you feel like there's no one around. Hallelujah. There's no one there to help. Oh, and you feel like you're all alone. But can I tell you, in them times, I've learned to trust God. I've learned to depend on God. I've learned to lean on him, Sister Vanessa. Hallelujah. Because he is my life savior tonight. He'll help you tonight when you feel like, oh, God. Like you're drowning, amen. And if you go with me tonight to chapter 28, verse 1, and it said, And when they were escaped, then they knew that the island was called Metella, or however you pronounce that. It says, And the barbarians, people showed us no little kindness. As far as they kindled a fire and received us every one, because of the present rain and because of the cold. Here was Paul tonight, church. He had just been in this shipwreck. Amen. And I'm sure that he was wet. I'm sure that he was cold. Amen. And he goes there. Glory to God. And it said they showed us no little kindness. Amen. Which they were kind to them. And verse 3, and it said, And when Paul had gathered a bundle of sticks and laid them on, the fire. I want somebody to get that tonight and lay them on the fire. It says there came a viper up out of the heat and fastened onto his hand. I'm telling you, if the devil can't destroy you one way, he'll try to kill you another. Hallelujah. He couldn't kill Paul in a shipwreck, so he tried to kill him with a viper. Hallelujah tonight. But can I tell you here all Paul was, he was all wet, he was all cold, and they begin to build that fire tonight. And Paul went and he gathered up sticks to add to the fire. Hallelujah. I'm telling you tonight that if you want to get something out of it, you've got to put into it. Amen. I said if you want to get something from God, if you want to get something from this life, from this walk, you've got to do your part too. Glory to God. See, it's all right if, if I told my husband, I said, honey, you do all the praying, you do all the fasting, you do all the work, and I'm just going to slide right in. How many knows it don't work that way tonight? Amen. We've got to do our part. Is this all right? Amen. Hallelujah. We've got to crucify this flesh. Glory to God. We've got to say, oh, God, we've got to submit ourselves unto God and resist that devil. And the Bible said he'll flee from us tonight. Glory to God. And he knows that he'll try to tempt you in every way he can. 
glory to God. And here he was, and here Paul was. He was adding to the fire. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. And while he picked up, Lord, I wish I had some. I'm just going to use this as an illustration of a stick. See, we've got a fireplace at home. Amen. And then Sister Emma, if I don't add wood to the fire, it's not going to burn very long. And Brother Ronnie was talking about tonight about hanging on to the horns of the altar. Can I tell you a whole lot of folk don't do that no more. Hallelujah. They don't pray no more. We can look around and see Christian folk backsliding all the time. Why? Because they're not adding wood to the fire. And when I don't add wood to my fireplace at home, glory to God, that little fire, that little spark will eventually go out. See, uh, when it goes out, Sister Vanessa, it gets to be really cold. Can I tell you tonight, when that spiritual fire goes out, you get really cold. Hey Amen. I said, you'll get really cold. you get so cold on God. Church won't matter to you no more. Hallelujah. You'll slowly begin to pick up things from the world. Yes, you will. I amen myself because it's a truth anyhow. If I'm not where I should be, hallelujah, Sister Vanessa, something wrong with me. Amen. Glory to God. I ain't doing like I'm supposed to be doing. We begin to get cold. And glory to God, I'm going to say this. And Lord, y'all need to pray for me tonight. But I'm going to tell you this tonight. If we don't keep the fire burning, church, and you start to get cold on God, a little bit of jealousy can enter in. A little bit of envy can enter in. Oh, yes, it will. Hallelujah. All these things can start to enter in. Glory to God. And before you know it, you're walking, you're talking, you're acting like you shouldn't be. hard in it. But how many knows this is the truth? Yeah. This is the truth. Brother, will you give me some water, please? I'm telling you, God is looking for a people that will keep the fire burning. We got to keep the fire burning, church. Not just sometimes. See, sometimes at home, I need it. I don't need my fireplace burning in the summer. Huh? Don't need a burning in the summer. Glory to God. But I need her in the mobo shut up, But we need it in the cold times, Sister Vanessa. We need it in the cold times, church, to keep us warm. See, they were building that fire to get them warm. Hallelujah. I'm telling you tonight, we've got to keep the fire burning even in the wintertime. Even in a bullshit and a boco. Because before you know it, oh, God, help me tonight. We'll begin to walk around in a place, Brother Mike, where we don't shout like we used to. You know, people say it ain't all in the shout, but it is. I said it is. The word of God will keep you. But people don't get in like they used to. Can I tell you right real quick? If you read with me real fast. Verse 4, and it said, And when the barbarians saw the venomous beast hanging on his hand, they said among themselves, No doubt this man is a murderer. How many not knows that's how people will do you? Glory to God. And it said, In whom thou he hath escaped the sea. Here he doesn't escape the sea. He said, Yet a venomous, a venomous surfeit not to live. Vengeance surfeit not to live. You say it right. Verse 5, and it said, and he shook off the beast into the fire, and he felt no harm. Said he shook it off, Nancy. Said that he shook it off. See, when you begin to slip up, people will point their finger. I told you they wouldn't last a week. Lord, I give them a month. I give them a day. But how many knows tonight that's how the devil will do? If he can't attack you one way, he'll try to attack you another. Is this all right tonight? 
Come on, I ain't been up here but about 10 minutes. Don't let the fire go out. Don't let the fire go out. Don't let the fire go out. Glory to God. He was adding those six to the fire, brother, and that venomous, that snake, that viper, that devil. Come up, and he took a hold of him. Can I tell you this? We're going somewhere. Just stay with me. I can't help but I'm one of them preachers. I like to go here, there, and everywhere. I don't like eating the same thing you ever go to. Is anybody here like Golden Corral? I, I can't just go up there to the buffet and get one thing. I'm sorry, but I got to get a whole lot of it. Hallelujah. And I want to eat till I'm full. Amen. Does anybody like Golden Corral besides me? Glory to God. It's good, ain't it? But can I tell you tonight, oh, hallelujah, that when we start to do for God and you start to work for God, along come the devil. Hallelujah. Can I I tell you that the devil, he went to Eve as an old serpent and he tempted her and he caused her to fall and she took Adam right down with her. That's how it works. If he can latch a hold of you and he can get you tonight, he'll cause you to want to fall. He'll put poison in you. Amen. I'm telling you not everything that says they're a Christian is one tonight. Glory to God. And the devil will come with his words. Hallelujah. And he'll feed him lies to you. He'll lie to you like he did Eve. Glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. They said, well, here, he must be a murderer. Glory to God. They were talking about Paul. Well, I wonder what the devil thinks about you and me tonight. What kind of poison is he feeding you? Huh? Yeah, Lord, I just learned to go with him. What kind of poison is he feeding you tonight? Amen. Oh, hallelujah. But I'm going to tell you this tonight. He talks to each and every one of us. If he went and he tempted Jesus, he'll tempt me and you tonight. Amen. Jesus said, hello, boy, call him. Oh, God, help me tonight. Hallelujah. I'm telling you tonight. He'll talk to you. He'll lie to you. But if you add all fuel to the fire and you keep that fire burning, that old devil has to back off. If you go outside and you build a fire, the snakes will run. I said they'll run. They don't want. They don't want to be where the heat is. I said they don't want to be where the heat is. Woo! They won't want to go They won't want to be where the heat's at, honey. Oh, where some Holy Ghost filled person is. And that anointing's flowing. I'm going to tell you what Paul did. He shook that thing off right into the fire. I'm telling you, that's how good God is. We need to. If I wish I could walk the pews, we need to shake the devil off tonight. Hello. Give me a few more minutes. I won't keep you long. Hallelujah. But I've got to obey God. Huh. How many knows we need the word? Amen. Glory to God. But it's time that we keep adding to the fire. If we keep it burning, Sister Missy, that devil don't have a chance. But see, it's when we let it down, Brother Ronnie. One night in a church, the Lord gave me a message about about our vessels burning or being a light, Lord help me, about us being a light, Sister Vanessa. And I turned off. Stay with me a minute. We're going somewhere. Probably think I'm crazy. And I turned off the lights. This is what it's like tonight when you're cold. Amen. Yes, amen. Can I get an amen? amen? I said, this is what it's like when you're cold. Glory to God. There's nothing coming out of you. There's nothing shining from you. Amen. Because when I'm cold, I just don't want to move. Huh? I said, when I'm cold, I don't want to move. And I sure don't want nobody to move me. I want to get to the heat. I want to get to where the warmth is, to where the fire is. My God. I want to get to where I can feel the 
Lord, because when I begin to get warm, oh, the devil might as well look out. Because then I feel like moving again. Come on, it's the truth. Then I feel like, oh, Lord, I feel like myself again. Huh? Come on, it's the truth tonight, brother. The Lord touched you. Huh? He said, I'd rather you be cold or hot. He said, because if you're lukewarm, I will spew you out of my mouth. Huh? Is that all right? So I don't know about you tonight, but I choose to be hot. I choose to keep adding wood to the fire. Hallelujah. You say, how do you do that? I'm going to add some prayer. I'm going to add some fasting. I'm going to add some word. I'm going to tear that devil up while I got a chance. Is this all right tonight? See, when we get still, oh, there's no movement. Can I tell you that stagnated water stinks? Is that all right? When there ain't no movement, honey, that water will get stagnated and it starts to smell bad. I mean, knows that's how we can be tonight. He said, out your belly shall flow rivers of living water. I'm still talking to you about don't let the fire go out. Huh? Don't let it go out tonight, church. Because when it's not flowing, it's getting still. Huh? Oh, help me tonight, Jesus. Glory to God. We ain't putting nothing forth anymore. See, a lot of people say, why go? Why go? What's the point going? Huh? And we begin to sit down on God. And then we begin to say, let so-and-so do it. But he's saying, I want you to add fuel to that fire. I can't do your job and you can't do mine. I mean, no, this, we're in this thing together, church. It's not about this one, about that one. There ain't no big eyes and little U's in this. It's all about God. Yes. I mean, no, it's all about him tonight. Yes. Glory to God. Bear with me just for a few more minutes. But too many times that old viper will get a hold of us. And he'll begin to talk to us. He begin to try to put poison in us. Is this all right tonight? And what's sad is because we begin to listen instead of shaking it off. We give him an ear. But you know what I found to be something? Is a lot of times we'll listen more to the devil than we will to God. Hey man, Al told me something. Because it's the truth tonight. We'll, give, we'll listen more to him than we will God. He'll say, don't go pray for that one. Who you think you are? And we'll sit right down. Don't raise your hand up. Ain't nobody else doing it. Oh, you better not move out of your pew. You might fall. You might run into somebody. Is this all right? Ain't nobody else shouting. Why you want to shout? They're going to look at you and think you're crazy. I say, let them look on. Amen. Let them look on. Glory to God. I told the Lord, I said, Lord, I want to be peculiar. Don't want to be like nobody else but Jesus. Is that all right tonight? But you know what? In order to get their church, in order to be that way, we've got to add fuel to the fire. you got to add fuel to the fire. In order to keep it burning, brother, Ryan. I actually thought about bringing a little fire thing in here, and I thought, no, I might catch the building on fire. <laughs> I like using illustrations. But you've got to keep adding fuel to that fire. You know what? Paul could have stood back. He could have just stood back. Sister Vanessa said, okay, go ahead. Somebody get it built because I'm freezing. Somebody get it done. Somebody get it blazing because I'm cold. But you know what he did? And he began to help them. It's about all of us. All of us. He began to, Brother Mike, to go over and pick up sticks and start carrying them to the fire. Don't let your fire go out tonight. Don't let the devil put your fire out tonight. 
if I ever heard from God, I know I heard him. He said, don't let the fire go out. Because I'm going to tell you what, he used that, that serpent's mouth, that viper's mouth, to latch on to Paul. How many knows? It's an evil thing. He'll use it. He'll use somebody's mouth that'll let him to try to poison you, to try to cause you to fall. Yes, he will. To try to literally kill you. Can I get an amen tonight? It's the truth. So and so said this. Lord, I don't know why we're going this way, but we're going. I said, let so and so go ahead. They're leaving somebody else alone. We know we've got to be humble. Because what good would it be for me to stick my tongue out and flap it too? What good would that be? Is that all right? Because you know that's how snakes do. They stick it out in the nest and they just flap that thing. They do. You ever seen a snake? Has anybody ever seen how they blind in the wind? I ain't trying to be funny, but it's the truth. It's the truth. He'll try to get a hold of you, Brother Dyson. He will. He'll start talking to you. Might be one of your old buddies. There's a party going on at so-and-so's house. Ain't you coming? Oh, I forgot you one of them church people. Huh? Oh, is that how you going to be now? I thought we were friends. See, and they'll be beginning to start saying the same thing or, or things that you're familiar with. Oh, you remember when you used to get drunk? I remember when we used to got drunk. Don't you miss the old times, man? I never was a drinker. Thank the Lord. I thought it was pretty nasty myself. But I could say I get drunk on a new wine. Amen. You remember when we used to get high? Don't you miss that, man? I don't know why somebody needs to hear this. The Lord's talking to somebody. Amen. Don't you miss it? And you know, they'll go as far as, man, you need a beer? Come on, I'll buy you one. Oh, you going to church? Now, come on, man, that's crazy. God will forgive Come on. And the devil will begin to work on you, and he'll say, no one's watching you. Amen. Nobody will know about it. One drink won't hurt. One high won't hurt. Yes, it will. He'll deceive you tonight. He'll lie to you tonight. He'll poison you tonight if you'll let him. That's what he's doing to young people all across America. Lie to them. Telling young people it's okay to do this. It's okay to do that. Just kill them. Come on, it's the truth tonight. Amen. He's been a murderer from the beginning. He ain't stopped. All he's doing now is taking a hold of people and deceiving them with his lies. Let me tell you what, God can give you something greater than Jack Daniels. Is that all right? Amen. I can wake up feeling the Lord instead of puking my guts up. Amen. Saying, God, I promise I won't do it again. Lord, if you just let me feel better, I won't do it no more. The next night, bling, and the phone rings. Come you coming over? Come on, I got so-and-so coming over. Come on, I know it's small and the kids are going to run in and out. Just give me a few more minutes. You sure you ain't coming over? Come on. You know you're hurting. You know, you know you're going through this and you're going through that. The devil will work on you, honey. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Come on. Yes. When everything is falling apart. Here, Paul just got out of a shipwreck. He was doing good to get to the land. Huh? See, 
that's how he does. He waits for some things to start going wrong, and then he's like this big old vulture, and he swoops in to kill. And he starts picking at you, trying to devour you. Yes, he will. And you know what he likes to do the most? He'll bring up your whole past. Just Don't you remember when so-and-so did this? And I'm talking a couple years ago. Amen. And you'll get to thinking about it. You're like, man. And before you know it, you feel all them old feelings again. Amen. Yeah, you do. Can I get an amen tonight? Amen. One little poison from the devil. Amen. He just latches on to you with it. And then there you are. And it's slowly working its way up. Before you know it, you can't move your hand like you should, like you used to, because you begin to think about what he says. You begin to dwell on it, and he'll tell you another one. Yeah, he will. Oh, honey, he'll tell you all kinds. Before you know it, you'll feel so bad, and you feel all that feelings that you didn't want to feel that you thought you were just gone and it was buried. He'll dig them back up for you. He'll say, here they are. And then you're right down in a rut. You're thinking, God, how did I get here? Because you didn't shake it off. You didn't shake it off. I'm telling you tonight, church, we've got to shake it off. Shake it off. Keep the fire burning. Keep the fire burning. I don't know about you tonight. As long as we stay praying. I know it's getting late and I want to use wisdom. As long as we stay praying and we stay fast and we stay prayed up, we stay read up, that fire will keep burning. It'll keep burning. But the minute you let down your guard, I guarantee you he'll come in and he'll latch on. And he'll try to poison you again. See, it's easy. I want to say this tonight, that it's easy because we're in the fire tonight. We're in the presence of God in here tonight. But when I walk out that door into the cold and I'm all alone and I don't have none of you with me, that's when he'll come. And he'll begin to try to put poison into you. He'll begin to talk to you and lie to you. And try to deceive you, just like he deceived Eve. That's how he works tonight. He'll paint you a pretty picture, my friend, and make it look so good. And before you know it, instead of listening to God, you're listening to him. If you don't run back to the fire and stay warm, you'll be so cold. Can I tell you, you can get so cold that it'll kill you. It'll kill you. They call it frostbitten. Some people get it so bad they have to cut their limbs off. Cut him off tonight. Cut him off. Don't let the fire go out, church. It might not have been a shouting message, but it's one we need to hear. Don't let the fire go out. Don't let him poison you tonight. He will even try it with your own brother and sister. I'm talking about here at the church. He said, well, they looked at you awful funny. I need my goodness, go up to him and hug him. Don't give him an itch tonight. Because he can very well take your life. I used to say, if you give him an inch, he'll take a mile. Lord have mercy, if you give him an inch, he can take your life. It's the truth. It's the truth. Stay in the fire. Don't let it go out tonight, church. Keep it burning. Keep it burning. Keep praying. Don't go home and flip on the TV and just start flipping channels. 
and God start dealing with you to pray, go pray. Go pray. There's a reason why the Lord's wanting you to pray. How many times have we ignored him? How many times have we not listened and gotten a mess? How many times the Lord said, why don't you fast today? And you'd be like, oh, but that pizza looks so good. I like pizza. How many times has God dealt with you to pick up the phone and call your sister and say, I love you? And we're just too busy. Well, Lord, they know I do. When she really needed that call. God knows what he's doing. His ways are not our ways. He knows what he's doing tonight. He loves you tonight, church. I ain't been up long. I'm getting ready to close. I know some of you are just ready to go. I got the zone. You can feel it. <laughs> and that's all right. I know it's getting late. But how many knows our time's not God's time? Is that okay? God will give you strength in the morning. Sister Nancy, he'll give us strength. Don't let go. Don't let go. Keep a hold of that fire, brother. Keep a hold of the horns of the altar. And it won't go out. It won't go out. It won't go out, church. Somebody don't let go tonight. Don't let go tonight. Yes, Lord. Tell you what, it's more than anything. Sister Vanessa, I gave you my life. I can't think of nothing in this world that's worth my soul going to devil's hell for. Not one thing. Not one person. Not one thing. Not one drug. Not one high. That'll probably only last for a little while. Not one thing that the devil has to offer is worth me burning out throughout eternity. Not one thing. Not one thing, Nancy. I wouldn't give him up for nothing. I just want to say this, and I, I am closing. Lord, help me. I really am trying. Can I see your hand for a minute, sissy? This is us and Jesus. He'll keep a hold of you as long as you keep a hold of him. I said he'll keep a hold of you as long as you keep a hold of him. But see, his hand don't move. It's ours that slips away. He says, no, Lord, I got to do my thing. Your thing might get you in a place that you may not wake up to see tomorrow. You heard people say that? Well, now I'm living it up. If that's what you call living it up, I don't want no part of it. Because <laughs> you can end up dead. Or something happening to you. You see young people, and they take drugs, church, and they end up dying. One time taking a hold of a pill because somebody says it'll make you feel good. One time, my dad, as far as I know, it was the first time he ever took it. Took a pill that someone said would make him feel better. Had him laying in a seizure and broke his shoulder. One time. That I know of, one time. Listen to me tonight. He'll offer you poison as long as you want it. Yes, he does. He'll offer it to you all day long as long as you want it. And he'll even go as far as telling you that you need it. You know you're hurting. That'll make that hurt go away. It'll never leave unless God makes it. How many knows he'll heal you tonight? Spiritually, physically, mentally, God will heal you. And when God does it, he does it right. It'll be all wiped away. You love the Lord tonight. Let's all stand, church.
Is there anyone tonight here that didn't get prayed for that wanted to? I hate to, I try not to dismiss, 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 dismiss. <laughs>